There's a new exhibit at Port Discovery, and it will have your entire family traveling back in time. So, so excited about dinosaurs, lands of fire and ice. Hey, all right, wait, you guys got to roar too. Ready, roar! <laughs> There's just something about dinosaurs. A lot of parents will say, oh, my son, he's going through the, the dino phase right now. I'm like, you, that's a phase? Do you mean there's an end to it? Because it hasn't happened to me yet. Gregory May is the performing arts manager at Port Discovery and says he's having just as much fun as the kids with this exhibit. He's been waiting for it to arrive for a while now. This comes from a traveling exhibit. So this uh, up on our third floor where we put our traveling exhibits. And uh, it takes you through three distinct areas. So we have a field research area that lets the kids become the paleontologists. Uh, and they can do a dig in there. They can make up their own animals by doing rubbings and little environments and drawing and stuff like that. They take pictures with them. They study the fossils, all that kind of stuff to learn a little bit about the scientific method and, and about how we've learned what we know. And then you travel from there into the land of fire, which is actually where we are right now for the most part. And this is where the Triceratops and the T-Rex lived. And this is kind of what we think about when we think of dinosaurs, that, that rainforesty kind of Jurassic Park kind of world. But then what's really interesting is it moves into the land of ice, and they're finding fossils up in Alaska. And now, Alaska was a little warmer back then, you know, so we're talking about 70 million years ago. It was a different world, quite literally, a very differently shaped world. And, uh, but it was still very cold. It was still cold. We haven't given him a name yet. What should we name him? Jackson. Jackson? Jacksonosaurus? Judy. Judy? Maybe Cutie. Cutie, that's a perfect name, a Cutiesaurus. High five. The exhibit is, of course, about learning more, but also about interacting in a way that is fun, memorable, and lasting. So we have a, a whole bunch of different programs for all ages here, and we go all the way up to 10. Uh, and so in here, there's all sorts of different things to do. So you'll study the fossils and do some matching games. There's some I Spy games for older kids where you'll pick up a, a pad of, of pictures and try and find those things throughout the exhibit and learn a little bit more about each of the different creatures. Quite a bit of information about them. And some of them may be new. I mean, kids know they're dinosaurs these days. A lot of them do. But some of this information is fairly new, and they might learn some new stuff. Even the 10-year-olds think they've already got it all. Do you want to come say hi? It's okay, he's a jelly donut source. He only eats jelly donuts. Visiting with a child under 10, you can there's say hi, still okay. a ton to do. For our, our little ones, uh, we've got some costumes to wear of some of the other animals that were here. Because it wasn't just dinosaurs. You had small mammals and you had insects, lots of insects and big ones. And we have uh, little costumes for them to wear over there that they can fly around the exhibit. And you grab the other guy's hand, grab the tail. And we're gonna make a dinosaur train, you ready? Follow me! And make sure you check their website and mark your calendars. I love somebody! I have several big dinosaur days coming up. Uh, and on those days, uh, we'll be bringing in a bunch of new activities. We've got shows, uh, Dino Size, which is like aerobics for dinosaurs. That's great. That's going to be all ages. We've got a, an actual paleontologist. Greg says the best part of the exhibit for him? Uh, well, I love watching the kids in it because dinosaurs appeal to all ages and there's something there's something extraordinary about it and it, I think it's just for all of us when we, we see something that could possibly be that big and that exciting and, and we know they were here but we still there's it's a mixture of, of myth and facts because we can't be positive of anything. We can only prove things wrong. We can't prove things right. So we just have to keep going and get more and more theories. And there have been enormous changes since I was a kid. Port Discovery summer hours are in effect, which means Monday through Saturday, it's open from 10 to 5, and on Sunday, from noon to 5. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.